Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face MAC Cosmetics makeup transformation. I keep seeing these transformation videos going around on YouTube and I wanted to do one myself, but I also wanted to do a full face of MAC because I haven't done a tutorial in a long time. This will be a transformation using entirely MAC Cosmetics. I'm also using all my favorite MAC Cosmetics in this tutorial, so everything you see here is the best of the best to me, my favorite products. So if you are interested in this look, how I created it using MAC Cosmetics and you want to see my transformation from this to this, then just keep watching. For this MAC transformation today, I'm going to be starting with my lips. We're doing full on glam and I'm going to be using the Lip Scrubshes just to exfoliate my lips. It needs to be done. And then I'm just going to prime and prep my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. And we're ready to get started on the makeup. My favorite foundation that MAC makes is the Pro Longwear, and I'm in NC40. The only thing about MAC foundations is that they don't match me the best, and the Pro Longwear, for whatever reason, this one matches me better than most foundations that they have. So I'm not too yellow or too pink, which I find their foundations go. This one is a little bit more neutral, but we're gonna be matching it to my body. And the brush I'm using is the 170, which is one of my favorite brushes that MAC makes. Really taking your time to just buff it into the skin. Now I'm going to brighten my under eye with a little bit of a corrector shade in my Pro Palette here. And this is the Studio Finish Concealer, which I've loved for so long. And this is just a pink shade, kind of like my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, if you guys remember me using that. So I'm just going to use my oval three brush for placement and then I'm going to go over with Pro Longwear Concealer just to correct my under eye and brighten. And then using my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I haven't used this forever but this was everyone's favorite. How many years ago? The Pro Longwear days and this is such a good concealer. Every time I wear it I remember how much I love it. Normally I like to use sponges for this kind of thing, but the MAC sponges I don't actually care for. I really think they could do a better job at creating a softer sponge because they're a little bit hard. I'm gonna just take a little bit on the eyelid too to prep for eyeshadow. Now that our eyes are nice and bright and corrected, I'm just going to take just a tiny bit more of that product and just highlight the center of my face just a little bit and blend it out. To set the under eye and lid space, I'm just going to be using a translucent powder and this is the set powder. There's two different kinds. You want to get this set powder specifically because it's way better than the other one that they carry. So the other one I believe has the word translucent in it and this one just says set powder. I think it might be a pro product. I'm not sure I bought this forever ago, but I still love this product. And then I'm just using a 133 to lightly set. You can bake with this powder if you want. I'm just going to use it to lightly set and then another powder for the rest of my face. Then to set the rest of my face and make it look more perfected, you can still see a little bit of texture because any kind of glowy product, it just emphasizes any kind of texture you have in your skin. So if you mattify it with powder, it's gonna really help that. So if you have textured skin, big pores, anything like that, that's gonna help. I'm gonna use my favorite powder that MAC makes. This is the Next to Nothing Press Powder. If you like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Face Powder, you're gonna like this. And it comes in more shades, so I always recommend this to people. And I'm using Medium Plus for the rest of my face and a MAC 140S brush. It's nice and light. I like this better than the Mineralize powder as well. In terms of powders by any company, it's top for me. So we're taking away that shine, but we're also making it look more flawless. Taking time to press it in. This brush is one of my favorites. I have two of them. I love it so much. I also have the Next to Nothing powder in light, and this is great for if you just want to add a little bit more coverage and to brighten up the under eye. I'm just using that same brush that we use, the translucent, and just a little bit. If you're really dry, don't do this, but 
I do often use this with a beauty sponge when I'm not doing a full face matte because I don't like their sponges. <laughs> but I use just a sponge in this and it works really great. To fill in my brows, I'm gonna be using the MAC Brow Pencil and Stud. It's probably my favorite color out of any brand. I really like this product. They have a spoolie on the end of these now. This one's an old one, just using that up. But I do have one with a spoolie. Where are you? I need to find you. I'm gonna go ahead and use the one with a spoolie, which they now have. And always remember to save your MAC packaging because you can bring it back to MAC, six empties, and get a free lipstick, eyeshadow, lip gloss, I think. It still is, I haven't gone back to MAC for a while. I have a whole bag of stuff I need to bring back. I'm just going to brush my brows into place and then fill them in. And then to create little hair strokes at the front of my brow, I find this product really helps. It's the Shape and Shade Brow Tint. And I use this side, which has a little felt tip on it, kind of like the Urban Decay Brow Blade, if you have that. And just lightly flick up. Find this product easier to do that, and then you can just go back with a spoolie and brush it out if it's looking a little too harsh. But it looks more natural to me. If I want to clean up the underbrow area, just take that concealer palette. This is one of my favorite brushes from MAC, is the 212. I'm looking at this like it's a mirror, which it clearly is not. <laughs> Run it underneath. It's just going to make it nice and clean and crisp. Then for eyes, I love MAC shadows. <laughs> clearly, I've created many, many palettes. I used to use these for when I would freelance. So they don't get too much love anymore. And I'm just going to do a fairly simple eye that I like to wear. I'm going to use just a bone color in here. You can see that I used to really like brulee. I think I'm gonna use Blanc type today. And this is a 217 from MAC, which most brush companies do now. I'm just gonna run this up to the brow. So I'm just going to take a little bit of MAC cork. This is one of my everyday MAC palettes that I use for a quick look. I create a little quad. Cork is one of my favorite crease colors next to wedge I really like that one and then I'm just going to place this in the crease and then kind of wing it out a bit then taking a little bit of saddle I'm just going to warm this up a little bit this cork is looking a little gray on me and I'm going to bring this down to the corner of my eye and then work it into that crease same brush i'm just going to do a smoky wing keep it really simple and i'm going to use a mac 208 to apply the shadow along my lash line and then smoke it out a little bit with a 219 the numbers rubbed off this one pretty sure it's a 219 which is the pencil brush if memory serves me right i'm just going to take brun on that angled brush and just create a little smoky wing Then for lashes, I'm just going to put a light coat of my MAC Giga Black Extended Play Lash. And I found these lashes at Sephora. They're the number 75 lash from MAC. I just cut them. I took that much off. So I took quite a bit off. And I'm excited to see how they look. They looked really similar to a Lily Lash in Miami sort of deal. So if you like those like me, I'm thinking these are going to be really good. So I'm just going to put a light layer of this mascara and then pop on my lashes and be right back. Those are the lashes, they're fairly dramatic. We're just gonna wait for them to dry down. I just love the soft eye with the soft smoky liner with dramatic lashes. So I'm just gonna finish off the lower lash line, taking a little bit of cork in that 219, I think we have decided it is. <laughs> then load up on the Giga Black Lash on the lowers. So we gotta make these try and match the uppers. Not that extreme, but you know, it's nice to balance it out somewhat. Then to clean up my waterline, I'm just going to take my chromographic pencil in NC15 NW20, run it along my waterline. It's gonna help brighten up the eye too. Just makes everything look a little bit cleaner. 
doing that step. Then taking a MAC 135, I'm using matte bronze to bronze up my skin. This is just a limited edition packaging, but this is a permanent product. And recently I've fallen in love with this color. Fell back in love, I guess you can say. I used to be more of a refined golden, golden girl, if you know those bronzers from MAC. And then only later in life did I go for the matte bronzer because I really like a matte bronzer now. Before I used to like shimmer, but my skin isn't nice as it was 10 years ago. <laughs> We're gonna load up on the bronzer just so that we match the body. Then my favorite blush to ever exist is the MAC Hush Tone Extra Dimension Blush. You guys have heard me rave about this forever and I'm just using the blush brush, which is the 116. And this gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Does emphasize a little bit of texture, but I love a glowy cheek. And we're just going to run a little bit over the nose to get that sun-kissed effect. Then taking the shade Double Gleam for our, an extra dimension skin finish highlight and a MAC fan brush. Again, mine are well used. I can't see the number. 184 maybe? Is that an eight? I'm not sure. Just going to dust this on my highlight region. I have so many favorite highlights from MAC, it was hard to pick. Then for my lip combo, we have four products here. I love this combo so, so much. You will see, it's one of my favorites. So a lot of times I just wear a spice lip liner on its own and I love that. But we're doing the full works today. Fill in the lip with spice. And then we're gonna go in with taupe, which looks like this. It's gonna make it a little bit darker. Color is so pretty. And then to lighten it up slightly, this is a pro product from MAC, it is their lip mix. I highly, highly recommend this all the time. You need such a small amount. If you like to lighten colors of your lips or just like light nudes in general, Having a white to mix in, you can lighten any lipstick. So if you like the undertone of something and just want it a tad bit lighter, literally get like a hundred different lipsticks out of one just by lightening it. Maybe not that many, but you can still get many combos from lightening a lipstick. That is my secret product to all my nude lips that I do, is that. And then to make it glossy and a little bit more pink, I'm using the Lip Gloss in Lust. And there you have one of my favorite MAC lip combos ever. I love it so much. And then to finish off this look and melt everything together, we're gonna use the MAC Fix Plus in Pink Light. It has a light pink shimmer throughout it. The gold one is more noticeable. Let me show you. So you do have to shake these up. That's what the gold one looks like without being shaken. And you can definitely tell the gold in that one more, but I feel like the pink would be best suited for this look. I love the smell of original MAC Fix Plus. It's like one of my favorite smells in the world. It's so, so good. Just gonna finish off my hair, come back and finish out this video. I'm back, I just finished off my hair, threw on some hoops, and this is the completed look. I absolutely love this kind of makeup. Super simple on the eyes with nice big lashes, a beautiful lip, just my go-to kind of makeup, and it's using all my favorite products from MAC Cosmetics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup transformation. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want, You'll be notified of my next video, which you do not want to miss because it is my Sephora haul. I cannot wait <laughs> to put that video up for you guys. I got so many good things that I can't wait to show you. So hit that bell and you will know when that Sephora haul is up. It will be up next and I'll see you guys in my next video.